My name is Thomas McGee, and I've been building and developing WordPress websites for a little over a decade now. So one of the things that makes WordPress so powerful and so unique is all of the customization capabilities it gives both to the developer as well as to the client. And that's one of the reasons why I think there's such a strong parallel between going to a tailor and getting a suit as opposed to getting one off the rack. If you were gonna go and get one off the rack, that would be kind of like the equivalent of going to a theme store and buying a theme and then having the client just customize it themselves, which works for many occasions, it works for many customers, but sometimes you come across a client who just wants somebody to help tailor exactly what they need and exactly what they want. So the very first thing I wanna know when I'm sitting down with a client is, what is the goal of this website? Do you want conversions? Do you want email signups? So in the case of this Thai company, we want it to showcase their brand, but we also want it to be super easy to edit. If you're pretty familiar with WordPress, you know that you can create your own custom page templates that actually go out and uh, loops through all of the WooCommerce products. I'm not relying solely upon WooCommerce built-in functionality. Instead, I'm looping through the products and I'm creating my own style there. So as we can see, if I were to jump over to the products page, we've got this non-typical WooCommerce layout for all the products that I, the developer, can customize as needed. What I typically do is I just take what WooCommerce gives you as kind of a starter file. I dump that all in and I start to structure not only each individual product and the different content that it's gonna have, but then I also start to structure things like pages. I start to break down each individual piece of the site from a stylistic standpoint in order to have my normalization styles. I've got my variables, my mix-ins. The cool thing is rather than me working with one gigantic long CSS file, instead I'm working with individual style sheets or files that all compile into style.scss or style.css once we're all finished. One of the other things I wanted to touch on as well is the functionality of ACF and how I like to work ACF into my various sites. If you get to pick what level of customization you want to provide them. So if you want to provide them with the ability to build out their own pages, you can do that. If you want them to manage their own online shop, you can do that too. So in this particular site, a lot of the ACF functionality, the, the core of it is going to be either A on the front page, which we see here, or B up here in the navigation with some of the more global site elements. And so the first thing that I like to do is to determine how do I want to work in those options? Well, there isn't really a page that I want the user to edit. This isn't just a page that they can edit like they typically would be able to in WordPress. And the reason is because I have right here front page, .php, which is where all of that content is edited. So what I like to do is within ACF, I like to create a site options page. So I like to create some tabs that people can just click through really easily in order to edit the content for those various sections. So for me as the developer, I use ACF and think through which aspects do I want the user to customize leaving it limited just to the specific things that we want them to be able to edit rather than making them build out the page themselves. One other tip I wanted to provide for you, which I only recently discovered that has been a game changer. If you're gonna be working with ACF as you are building out sites similar to what I've described so far, what I would recommend is switching over to ACF JSON. If we're to jump back into WordPress and we see we have our field specified here and we've got this group with a nice little ID, this whole collection of fields in ACF. The cool thing is that these are no longer saved in the WordPress database, the fields that is, which is amazing. And so what this means is that all I have to do is inside my theme in the root directory, I just create a folder by the name of ACF-JSON. And so every single time I create a new group, it creates a JSON file with all of that data included. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So if I were to go add new, and let's go ahead and say this is my new test group. Hello there. 
as our field will save changes. And there we go. We've created a new group called test group with a field that says hello there. So if I were to jump back into my theme, you'll see under ACF JSON, it has now created a second dot JSON file, which is amazing because now if I'm going to jump into GitHub, you'll see here that it's now added this JSON file. So it allows you to keep all of your fields in sync. ACF has just become the perfect solution to make not only my job easier as the developer, but also life easier on the client and their customers as well. So one of the main advantages of doing it this way, both from a developer standpoint and from the client standpoint, is that they don't have to go through the process of building out an entire site. They can come to me, the tailor, to help build that with the exact specifications that they want so that it not only looks good for them, it's easy for them to manage, but also it helps them serve their customers better and get more customers in the process.